Hello everyone. Come along and read with me today, Classmate World Travelers by Jacqueline Michelle McQuaig. This is a story of 26 classmates who each travel to a different country across the world to see many things. They share stories about their travel with beautiful pictures and rhyming adventures, helping your child to learn about the culture, culture of many countries. Ariana visits Australia. The land down under is what they call it, you see. A hopping around kind of place for a kangaroo to be. A koala bear rides her baby on her back like she is carrying a backpack. Flying over the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park is visible from high above. It is one of the largest living structures on the planet. It has 3,000 coral reefs and 600 continental islands on the east coast but I like diving and snorkeling the most. There goes a dingo dog hunting for food near the seashore. He pulled out a fish and then went hunting for more. These are some of the things Ariana saw in Australia. 24.8 million people live here. Bianca visits Brazil. Brazil is home to some fascinating mammals such as armadillos, tapirs, jaguars, and pumas that roam in the night. Fish species like the piranha could give you a, a bite. Colorful toucans and parrots fly through the air with a glide. Waterfalls flop, flow down a mountainside. Coconut trees blow in the breeze. Soccer is a game that they play here in Brazil Winning the gold cup is a big deal. Vibrant colors, a week-long celebration. Costumes so fancy with feathers and masks fill the streets with anticipation. Bringing friends and neighbors together for a great time, including dancing and food from many places and different races. These are some of the things that Bianca saw in Brazil. 2.9 million people live here. Claire visits Canada. Polar bears are most unique, running across the ice on the frozen top lake. A fish swims just below the ice, which excites the bear, but I bet it gave that fish quite a scare. The second largest, largest country in the world with beautiful mountains topped with snow, Rocky Mountains in Vancouver, Victoria, Calgary, and Niagara Falls, Montreal and Quebec City, riding in a canoe on Lake Louise where green waters reflect the glaciers that flow down the mountain side. I get excited every time I take this ride. The enchanted forest in British Columbia, hidden among 800-year-old cedar trees, where fairies and dwarves hang out together, with beaver ponds, moose, and caribou migrating during warmer weather. Maple syrup sure is sticky. Collecting it from the trees can be quite tricky. These are some of the things that Claire saw in Canada. 37.28 million people live here. Demi visits Denmark. Birthplace of the most popular toy, Lego. It's true. Snapping Lego bricks at the theme park in Belund. I can build a Viking ship in a windmill too. The Little Mermaid bronze statue who turns into a human sits on a rock by the waterside. She is watching the ships roll out on the tide. Walking down Skagen beaches that has 5,000 miles of coastline with extraordinary light beaming across the sky over the ocean, an artist drew a painting so fine. Barnum Island, full of fishermen and crafts on the seas, exploring Almendingen Forest with ancient buildings and art galleries. These are some of the things that Demi saw in Denmark. 5.749 million people live here. Ellie visits England. Hustling, bustling, and touring London town, busy with lots of sounds. 
I see the double-decker bus coming breezing through the city with lots of passengers going to the Big Ben clock, and they hear it go tick-tock. I hopped into a red telephone booth to call my mom across the pond. Just then I saw Queen Elizabeth, to who I'm, I am so fond. Guards marched in front of Buckingham Palace with their furry high-top hat. I tried to talk to one of them, but they could not chat. These are some of the things that Ellie saw in England. 66.9 million people live here. Fran visits France. Look up towards the clouds. I see the Eiffel Tower stretch, made of wrought iron lattice, you know. It was constructed over 100 years ago. Most recognized structure in the world and visited by many people. Its top looks like a church steeple. The Arc de Triomphe monument with names of French victories and generals inscribed on its surface, honoring those who were so brave and served their country with great purpose. Palace of Versailles was the royal residence of France from 1682 to 1789. Now a monument, history and heritage site with a long hall of mirrors and golden statues are a grand delight. These are some of the things that Fran saw in France. 66.9 million people live here. Gabe visits Germany. Up high on a rugged hill in Neskashwinston Castle, grand as it can be, visited by many since 1886, up in the treetops like a bird's nest but made from stone instead of sticks. The Brandenburg Gate is an 18th century monument in Berlin. It stands at the entrance of the city welcoming you to come in. A wooden cuckoo clock chimes on the wall, springing a bird out of a small trap door startled me so that I fell backwards onto the floor. These are some of the things that Gabe saw in Germany. 82.4 million people live here. Heidi visits Hawaii. Climbing these rugged cliffs across the islands can be hard to do, but I have to climb high to see the wonderful view. Waterfalls cascading down below to the sand on the beach. Gold, red, black, and green sand along the seashore as far as it can reach. Coconut and pineapple drinks. Grass skirts that flow back and forth as a dancer sways across the floor. Flower lay necklace around my neck and large waves from the ocean splashing towards the shore. Volcanoes erupt in a distance across the land, you know. Belching smoke high above the clouds can be quite a show. These are some of the things that Heidi saw in Hawaii. 1.43 million people live here. Izzy visits Ireland. Leprechauns, four-leaf clovers, horseshoes, and gold at the end of the rainbow. I got lucky today and found gold nuggets all in a row. Giant causeway has columns formed along the seashore, formed from a volcano that was underneath the ocean floor. Blarney Castle dates back to the year 1200 with a block of limestone that tourists kiss for good luck. Maybe if I kiss it, I can win a few bucks. The dark hedges are a tunnel of birch trees along a, tree, a country road. Twisting branches connect at the top. When I look down this long path, it seems not to not stop. These are some of the things that Izzy saw in Ireland. 4.85 million people live here. Jiggy visits Japan. Mount Fuji is 12,389 feet tall. It stands up high in the island town like a great wall. Walking through a bamboo forest, watching them sway up really high in the air, sitting on a rock playing with a mamongo squirrel is rare. A beautiful geisha, geisha lady with flowers in her hair just walked by with a white painted face and wearing a silk kimono dress prettier than all the rest. Just then I saw a white snow monkey with a pink face standing by a bonsai tree looking straight at me. Hello, kitty, I must say. You are looking pretty today. These are some of the things that Jiggy saw in Japan. 126.9 million people live in Japan. Kendrew visits Korea. 
Seol is a very large city with five ancient imperial sites. Touring a place so grand called Jiangbungung would start my day right. Seol Grand Park has a zoo and National Museum of Contemporary Art. I, saw, I also enjoyed the amusement park. Two stone pagodas standing in a courtyard in front of the main temple hall and two bridges feature on a list of national treasures of Korea in, is their heritage. Bright colored lanterns at a festival decorating the streets of the city so bright, made of paper and shaped like a lotus flower floating down a stream of water with a light. These are some of the things that Kendru saw in Korea. 51.3 million people live here. Leo visits Luxembourg. Vianden Castle is one of the largest castles west of the Rhine. Built in the 11th century, it is so divine. The Grand Ducal Palace is home to the Grand Duke, head of state, performing his official duties and never late. Notre Dame Cat Cathedral, built in the year 1613. It is the only cathedral in the town and called the Church of Our Lady, which columns arching to the ceiling, with columns arching to the ceiling. They stand so tall and are very appealing. Adolphi Bridge is a double-decked arch bridge providing routes for road traffic on the upper deck and the lower deck. These are some of the things that Leo saw in Luxembourg. 596,089 people live here. Milana visits Mexico. Eating tacos so tasty with ground beef, cheese, lettuce, and a crunchy shell. Shaking maracas at a party in Gu Guadalajara with a sombrero hat is fun. Listening to the marachi play music by a cactus in the glistening sun. Riding a train through Copper Canyon with a great friend and wonderful companion. These are some of the things that Milana saw in Mexico. 132.33 million people live here. Ned visits Nepal. Climbing the Himalayas all the way to the top of this white, snow-covered, majestic mountain is something not many will do. Seeing a Yeti running down the path, then he went out of view. Kathmandu is the capital and largest city in Nepal. City of temples, it is also known where many are mount, made of stone. These are some of the things that Ned saw in Nepal. 29.3 million people live here. Ali visits Oman. I took a ride on a camel through the desert in this land. Rubbed a genie lamp three times with my hand. The Royal Opera House Muscat has wooden gold and glass inside. Decorated like a queen's palace and I could hear someone singing. Outside made of marble and a large tapestry swinging. These are some of the things that Ali saw in Oman. 4.636 million people live here. Pacho visits Poland. St. Peter and St. Paul's Church in Old Town Kratal stands very tall. Kratal has a museum called Cloth Hall that has art from the, 20th, from the 12th and 18th centuries on every wall. Siaz Castle has an indoor garden in the Palm House holding 250 plants with flowers everywhere. I pull one out and put it in my friend's hair. These are some of the things that Pacho saw in Poland. 38.03 million people live here. Quentin visits Qatar. Aspire Tower stretches high in the air, a skyscraper hotel, tallest building in Qatar. I took the elevator up to the top and stayed for a spell. In Al Baida Park, one of the oldest parks in Doha, Qatar. I stood under a palm tree, watching a bird fly by gracefully and children playing in harmony. These are some of the things that Quentin saw in Qatar. 2.7 million people live here. Ridge visits Russia. 
largest country on earth with lots of things to do. Museums, parks, monuments, and cultural attractions too. Winter Palace, painted green and white and visited by people every day. With grand stairs and gold leaf trim, it sure would be a nice place to stay. The Kremlin is the government seat. With museums and exhibits, visitors can learn about artifacts from Russia and its history is neat. These are some of the things that Ridge saw in Russia. 143.9 million people live here. Sydney visits Scotland. Edinburgh Castle sits on a stone hill. Looking down at bronze statues of William Wallace and Robert the Bruce made me made to look so real. Bagpipes blowing in a striped kilt skirt to wear. The Loch Ness Monster in the lake, swim if you dare. These are some of the things that Sydney saw in Scotland. 5.425 million people live here. Tatiana visits Turkey. Noah's Ark landed on Mount Ararat. I sure do believe that. Raging waters cast it there, holding animals that were housed by pairs. Cappadocia have wavy rock shapes that are formed by wind and water action. As I fly over in a hot air balloon, it is quite an attraction. Pergamum has ruins of an ancient library with columns all around. Once it was busy and an important asset to this town. These are some of the things that Tatianta saw in Tur Turkey. 82.8 .8 million people live here. Uriah visits Ukraine. Sunflowers beam across a bright yellow colored field. I ran through the field kicking up my heels. A green tunnel in the tiny village of Clavant, intertwined with tree branches and bushes over the railroad in is cozy bliss. Kiss under the tunnel and make a wish for much happiness. Camping on Mount Hovela in the Carpathian Mountains near Cenevra Lake formed by an earthquake. These are some of the things that Uriah saw in Ukraine. 43.8 million people live here. Victor visits Vietnam. Lighting many lanterns in Huan forms a kaleidoscope of color at the Lantern Festival. Singing food and fun at every stop, lanterns in every shop. Out on the river, in a boat, I saw a lantern float. There are 1,600 limestone towers rising from turquoise waters at Halong Bay and cruise boat trips every day. You can explore caves and tiny beaches, eat seafood if you are in the mood. These are some of the things that Victor saw in Vietnam. 97.3 million people live here. William visits Wales. Brecon Beacons National Park is bordered by two different sets of black mountains. Hiking up, in the, up the black mountains on the east side I see a herd of wild ponies. On the west side of the black mountains runs the river Usk which is also wild and robust. Going on a scenic ride on a train excursion, reaching landmarks, seaside towns, and castles around. Pembrokeshire Coast National Trail, with villages enclosed by medi medi medieval walls around Tenby. Pembroke Castle, St. David's Cathedral, and a fishing harbor like Lagarney. Lung where poet Dylan Thomas lived in a boathouse in this town. I think that I will be adventurous and find a unique place to stay, like an old farm cottage, cottage a gypsy caravan, or a vintage rail car, by the way. These are some of the things that William saw in Wales. 3.125 million people live here. Xavier visits Zion, China. Terracotta army sculptures of Qin Shi Huang, first emperor of China, stand all in a row. 8,000 soldiers, 130 chariots with 520 horses put on a great show. Giant wild goose pagoda built in the year of 652. It holds sutras and figurines of the Buddha brought to China from India stands five stories high straight up to the sky. Great Wall of China built across the land, stretching over 13,000 miles long. I walked across it as far as I can, singing a song. 
Chinese dragon kite flying in the air, 100 feet long, gave me a scare. Giant pandas of Qingdu are always chewing on bamboo. White and black color with black patches on both eyes like a raccoon. These are some of the things that Xavier saw in Xi'an, China. 7.16 million people live here. Yuri visits Yemen. Dar al Hara is a royal palace that is built on top of a large rock. I was thinking, now how would I climb up there? Couldn't be a skip or a hop with that much of a drop. Shahara Bridge connects two villages across the mountainside, 65 feet long and nine feet wide. Lounging on the shore of the Indian Ocean at Little Adan, Aden in the crater of an extinct volcano, watching the wildlife soar across the sea was a pleasant time for me. These are some of the things that Yuri saw in Yemen. 29.4 million people live here. Xander visits Zimbabwe. Victoria Falls stretches more than a mile, flowing down a sheet of waterfall. Bungee jumping from the bridge that is 365, 64 feet tall. I saw a white and black rhino running in Mot Motobo National Park. Leopards were lounging under a tree, watching a Virex eagle fly over me. Sunset with orange and yellow colors beaming behind a tall giraffe. Buffalo charging and a lion gave a loud roar. Join me next time on this wildlife tour. These are some of the things that Xander saw in Zimbabwe. 17.30 million people live here. I was born Jacqueline Michelle Price in the small town of Alma, Georgia. I grew up on a farm with wonderful parents and grandparents. I learned Christian values and was loved very much. I am married to William Christian McQuig and I live in Douglas, Georgia. My parents are Jack and Barbara Price of Alma, Georgia. I have one sister, I have two sons, one daughter and eight grandchildren. I have a daycare in my home and I am very thankful for the love of my children and their parents. I also have more books online that I hope you will enjoy with your child. Thank you so much. The end.